Nobody asked for this. Okay? I'm aware. Nobody asked for this. But I was really enjoying playing Freddy on the PTB. And before I get off the PTB, I want to get in maybe a few more games and try another build with him. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but before I even get into that build, I know that a few of you were asking during request week for a few other builds and video ideas that I didn't get a chance to get to. So I have put those on a list and I thought what I would do, uh, I don't want to do another full week of that because it was just it's too much. But what I will do is just lay out a day, I think Wednesdays, I will make one of those request videos. So hopefully one of those videos will come out every week. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going to come out next week, but uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, I will get to those requests eventually, and I do actually have a list of, I think, all of them. So, Anyways, on to the actual build. So I'm calling this Warp Freddy, but I, you know, I don't really know <laughs> if it's exactly that. But basically, I just want to teleport around a lot. I want to use the Gen Teleport more than anything. Um, I'm going to be using the Dream Snares by default, but I probably won't be using them a ton. I'm going to be mostly focused on um, teleporting around. Um, so let's get into the perks. So first off, I'm going to be using Thrilling Tremors. So that's going to block gens when I pick up a survivor after downing them. Um, that will make it so basically I block every gen that um, is not being worked on, but then I will be able to easily see any gen that a survivor is touching so that gives me a quick point to teleport to then barbecue and chili obviously again after hooking somebody it's going to show me where the other survivors are so that's going to help for tracking them and picking out a place to teleport to then we have hex ruin obviously we're going to slow the game down we're going to make it slow just a, a slight amount so <laughs> that's a pretty obvious one and then um you know i'm thinking about pop goes the weasel um, but I think you could also put in maybe like discordance or something in here. Um, this will just help me put more pressure on the gens when I need to. Um, but yeah, I might switch it out in a later game. We'll see. Um, you could go with surveillance or discordance as far as tracking the other generators. Uh, but personally, I would prefer discordance because surveillance can get a little confusing because when you break a generator, it actually makes it glow white which is the same color that you use to determine what generator you're teleporting to. So that can get kind of confusing. So I don't really want to deal with that. Anyways, let's get to the add-ons. So I'm using Nancy's Masterpiece, and that will make it so the more people that are asleep, the faster the teleports come back. So that will be nice. And then just to troll people, I'm going to be using the class photo. And basically that makes it so whenever I'm teleporting to a generator, every single generator will start spilling out blood. So people will think that I'm coming to their generator even when I'm not. So hopefully that will help apply pressure. And then I'm also going to the Bad Ham map just because it's a great map. And I just want to play the, the new rework version as much as I can. Alright, so let's try this out. I mean, it could be a disaster. I don't really know if this is a good build or not, but it's worth trying, so let's do it. Alright, we finally got a game. Oh, I just noticed at the bottom of the map, it actually shows you what variation of the map that you're getting for Badham. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, hopefully we can, can make this worth it, because the queue time was really long to get in here. And overall, I'm not really sure how I feel about the Dream Snares, so I don't know how often I'm going to be using those. There we go, that was nice. I'll probably be snaring uh, choke points. That might be that might be the move. Okay, not exactly. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like it ends up wasting more time than it <laughs> saves you. So, all right, let's start teleporting. I don't know if that- Oh! It was the play! It was the play, dude! The misdirect! Oh, this build was so worth it. That just made this so worth it. She thought I was going to that gen up there, and then I ended up over there. She jumped straight into me. That was amazing. That's exactly why you want to play Freddy. That is so much- <laughs> It was so funny. Alright. 
Gonna kick that, gonna break a pallet. Just get pressure. Have the teleport back up. Let's go down here. Why not? It will scare everyone no matter what. Oh, what's up, buddy? And the thing is about the class photo, too, is people are going to be like, well, I don't think he's actually coming to my generator. I'm not going to go anywhere. And then you, uh, you know, you pop up on them and they're not happy about it. Let's see if this helps. What are you doing? Okay, he doesn't want to hit the dream snare, so that did actually help. Cut down the amount of loops, although this is a small loop. So you could probably pretty easily get away with not using anything there. And I got my dream snare back already because these people aren't breaking the passive. Oh, what's up? Hey, friend. Yeah, see, the, the dream snare so easily gets blocked by like a pallet or like a wall that you... Okay, I don't know what that play was. You get blocked so easily by objects on the map that it's like, I don't know, feels not worth it most times. And I am honestly not using Pop Goes the Weasel that much. There's so much pressure on the map because that one person DC'd now and they're not getting out of uh, the sleep, so I can just go wherever I want. Oh, I just heard him up above me. Not the best positioning, but... Oh, what's up, friend? Oh my god, that's gotta be so scary. Because <laughs> she's just hearing the lullaby, so she doesn't know exactly where I am. And yeah, I've had that happen to me, and it's it's not fun. I'm gonna go ahead. I think, like, this kind of situation's maybe the best place to... Okay, walk the wrong way. Being dumb. Uh, did it twice. Did it twice. So yeah, I was overthinking the dream snare. And again... Can I make her hit it? Okay, no. I, yeah, I don't know. The dream snares overall, maybe you're mind gaming people a little bit, but they really don't feel that good. It feels like it's you're just wasting your concentration. Now, unfortunately, the drawback of using tremors is um, they were not on generators. So I have to wait. I have to wait now in order to teleport. Because anytime you block a generator, you can't go to it. Can't go to it. Words. Um, so, yeah, that kind of hurt me there. So, Thrilling Tremors, you know, I like it overall because it helps you pick generators quicker. But with Class Photo, I, I swear, they get scared no matter any time you TP, so. Uh, I thought I heard somebody. Okay, they're both together, so this is a bad play. I don't know what you're... <laughs> You might think that you're hiding, but I can see your silver outline. That other guy's going to need to go save. I might down her and just go ahead and, and hit him and, and end the game. We'll see. Is this the play? Okay, so he hit he did hit the trap. Alright, I don't, I don't think that was the play. I could, I could be wrong. Maybe that was the play. Yeah, so again, Thrilling Tremors, I don't know, for the teleport build, I don't actually think that that was the smart play, um, because I want to be teleporting at all times, and it's kind of blocking me sometimes. So, yeah. If you're going for a... <laughs> okay, he's just casually walking. <laughs> Pretty sure this... He's either given up, or he has no idea where I'm coming from because of the lullaby. Not sure which. You can see he was just casually walking. <laughs> yeah, take the trim. Now, here's one thing. If you could channel the dream snare under somebody's feet, and then you could slow them like that, kind of like a clown slow, maybe it would be a little bit more viable. Um, but as it stands, you know, I, I don't really think that it's all that great. So yeah, I don't know about the dream snares. You know, you could trap choke points, but... They're so finicky, they don't always want to drop while you're moving, and you really should not be stopping to place them ever, because they're just not worth it. 
Did you just throw a pebble at me, dude? Unbelievable, dude. All right, now I'm using the dream snares on you for sure. You're gonna hit one of these snares. You did not just dodge. You see how easy they are to dodge, though? Hit one of the traps. Dude, I swear. But you... What? Oh, he's not even asleep. I'm stupid. All right, whatever. But the one interesting thing you can say about the snares, for sure, is that you can actually get bloodlust while you're charging them. So again, I would not slow down or change your movement at all for charging these things. And I, I kind of feel like in most situations you can just completely ignore them. Now they're not really that important. You know, you know, maybe spots like that. That's kind of a good spot to put it. But even then, it's not going to save you that much because by the time they're reaching this pallet, like, what are they going to do? They're just going to run straight through. They're going to almost be at the point where they can slam it, so it's kind of silly. The game has gotten very slow. They're not even touching generators anymore, it seems like, because I think they could have pretty easily finished one by now. They're just, class photo is so scary that they're probably jumping off generators every time. Uh, one other nice thing that I should mention about the teleport, um, <laughs> you know, while I'm waiting for one of these people to stop hiding at some point, um, is uh, when you're using the class photo. Oh, hey, hey, never mind about the class photo thing, because it's time. You know what? I'm even going to use a dream snare. No, I'm not, because it's that bad. Okay, it didn't matter anyways. Would have been a waste of my time. That's the dream snare for you. Literally, if you want to drop it on the ground like that, but I feel I still feel like it's distracting. And I wasted the dream snare that was there before. I don't know. I, I, I'm not a big fan of these things. Where'd you go? No, 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 no. No more immersion. We need this one to be over. This one has got to be over. Okay. <laughs> I think you're giving up too. That's fine. Um, let's see if we can spot the last guy. No? So that person's nearby. Well, anyways, what I was trying to say about the, the class photo before the... Oh! <gasps> Where? Where? Do you want it? You know what? I'm, I'm just going to let you have it. I'm not going to close it. I don't care. I really don't care. I really don't. Well, why are my... My chat is completely blacked out. Okay. Alright. PTB. Working as intended. Um... Yeah, but what I was trying to say about the class photo is the nice thing about that is if you pick a specific generator that you want to port to, I mean, you can literally just tap the button and go to it because with the class photo, it's a, basically you can't cancel the channel. So it's a little bit easier. You don't have to worry about like letting loose of the button. You can just tap it once and then you're going to go to whatever gen you picked. So that's, you know, a positive and a negative depending on how you want to play. But, um... Yeah, overall, I think the build is pretty strong. Um, it did have basically everybody immersed out of their minds very quickly. Um, and it just, I disconnected from the host. I'm the host, but I guess maybe that means everybody left. Okay, I've never seen that before. That's different. Uh, but yeah, overall, the build felt pretty strong. The only things that I would change I mean, honestly, I would change just about everything about the build, perk-wise. I think that you could go with um, getting rid of Thrilling Tremors, and Pop Goes the Weasel I didn't really find much use for. It wasn't really that great for pressure. Um, but I think Class Photo and Nancy's Masterpiece worked well together just for that constant gen pressure. Like, people were constantly scared where you were going to end up. And um, at the end of the game, people basically just gave up. They didn't want to work on gens anymore, which I can't blame them for. But again, as far as these two perks, I think you'd, you could easily replace them with something like uh, Discordance. Um, 
I don't know, maybe something else can go in there. But Thrilling Tremors was a little problematic because it prevented me from teleporting in a lot of situations where I wanted to, which is not good for a teleport build. And then, um, you know, again, Pop Goes the Weasel, I really didn't use that often. So uh, I don't think I would recommend that. There's probably something else you could use better. You could even make it like a totem build if you wanted, because I think you could probably defend them pretty well. So if you wanted to use something like, I don't know, uh, Devour Hope or Haunted Ground or uh, Huntress Lullaby, something like that might work. But anyways, I think you have a lot of options with this build, but it is a lot of fun and just it spooks survivors so bad. And especially when you're teleporting so often, it's it must be a nightmare <laughs> for the survivor side so anyways that is all i have for now uh that's probably the end of my ptb play i don't think i'm going to be playing anymore because just trying to get the uh queue with freddy was really rough i think it took me about 20 minutes to actually get into a game and you know i'd rather play him when he's on live anyways um but again with the request videos those should be coming on wednesdays so those should be weekly now um, depending on how much time I have to do them. But otherwise, thank you for sticking around. I love you. Goodbye.